Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Melita and we are currently doing on this channel a series of videos on renovating my 110 year old house. So, uh, there was much debate on whether to continue on with the downstairs or to move upstairs, but we decided to go ahead and finish the downstairs, even though I didn't want to do the downstairs because the living room and the dining room are absolutely huge and it was going to take a lot of time. So we decided to move on to the dining room. So this is what we're going to do. Let me take you on a tour of the dining room and then um, we'll show you the results. Okay. Okay, here's the dining room. Of course, the mess, the table's a mess because we moved stuff from the buffet over here and put it here. Here is the bar. Everything needs, look at the curtains are falling off. Just plain white walls. And I want to kind of refurbish some of this artwork and move it somewhere else maybe. And so this is the room. We've already started painting, but the chandelier, you can't really see because of the glare, but it's a really tall room. Here's the pink color we chose, and it is called Afternoon. And it's kind of like yellowy, orangey kind of thing. And again, we went with the Sherwin-Williams the Sherwin -Williams Infinity One Coat Perfection, and this time we got it in eggshell interior, and this was about $45. We just got started painting, so it's looking pretty good. There's this stain right here of a perfect circle. Well, almost perfect. And I'm thinking because on the other side there was a fireplace. I'm thinking they had a pot stove connected to here. And it, it was used here in this corner to heat up this room during the winter. You know, this house was built in 1911, so they didn't have central air heat. Okay, we finished this side of the wall. Well, this section, I shouldn't say this side. And we were debating to just paint the inside of the squares and leave the, uh, the rest white or just paint the whole wall yellow. So we decided to just paint everything yellow except for the little borders. And then here, we can take this off without making a huge hole in the plaster. So we're just painting around it. And then here, there's a board missing. This little uh, border here is missing here. So we went and got some at, at the hardware store. And then this corner here doesn't have any borders at all, like any squares, I don't know what you call it, molding, those square moldings. So we, get, we went and bought little boards and we're gonna custom make our own uh, like, molding squares i guess we call it and then we're going to keep going so we're over here in this corner we're going to paint it yellow and then we'll add the molding okay i went and got these are the little uh, strips of wood that i got um, to make my own custom panels for to replace the panels that are missing on the wall and then i went and picked up this it's called it's wall texture and you just spray it on and it creates like a, like a texture. Because my walls have texture. So, my dad already primed these yesterday and we let them dry. Of course it rained so we couldn't finish yesterday. And now this morning I am just going to spray these and hopefully in a couple of hours they'll be dry and then we can cut them and hang them up. And this wall texture was about $13.99. There was a smaller can, but I went with the big can just to make sure I had enough. And if I mess up with the cutting or whatever, I can go buy another one. These were $3 and something cents each. So not super expensive. So hopefully I'll measure twice and cut once. Hey guys, okay, so I have all my little boards already done and my dad cut them for me. So now I'm just trying to line them up, make them level, and then I'm going to nail them in and I'm using these tiny little panel nails. 
screen, lost the hammer. Okay, and then this right here in this little spot, it's not, it doesn't fit perfectly. Um, and it's not going to because of all these ridges and stuff. So I'm just going to fill that in with some, where's the camera? Spackling. And let it dry. And it'll, it dries white, even though it's pink. And this probably was about $4 at Walmart, I think. Okay, you guys, I got some spackle on my finger. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go over the nails that I put in. And then I'm trying to make it, you know, not blend in. I want some texture because everything else is textured and the other little white boards are textured. So I'm going to try this here on the nail holes and wait till it dries. And if I like it, I'm going to spackle the whole little board, the white board. To make it look more you know rough rough because even though i put the wall plaster or uh texture on it it wasn't enough it still i mean it's not smooth but it looks smoother than all the other boards so that's what i'm gonna try so i'm gonna let it dry and see how it comes out if i like it i'll do the whole board okay you guys this is it what do y'all think now remember, these two walls didn't have those uh, panels, so we added those two, we added the ones above the doors, and then we added some here that were missing. Some were missing, they had come off during the years, so we replaced all those. And we re rearranged the furniture. This cabinet used to be here, we moved it there. That china cabinet used to be there, and we moved it to the corner. This table was in the living room, so we moved it to the dining room to create a buffet for the holidays. And then on this wall, on this side, we have this buffet and we cleaned out everything on it. And of course we moved everything so we could paint. We uh, refurbished some, uh, or we reused some of my old art pieces and hung them in different places and we have less art on the wall than we did it just looked way too cluttered okay so that's what it you guys Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the transformation of my dining room. If so, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, the little thumbs up, and um, subscribe and share if you think somebody can uh, is going to enjoy this video. And um, we wind up spending about, I'm going to say, 100 and 40 to 150 dollars on the dining room and that's only because we had to buy so many of those little boards to make those borders on the on the walls that didn't have them and then all the putty we had to go buy putty two times because we ran out and uh, nails we need a special nails for those little boards and wall texture that's what we spend money on and of course the paint which was about 45 dollars at lowe's and i hopefully i showed you the color and everything of the paint <laughs> i don't know it's been you know it's been a couple weeks since we started this project so we finally finished and now we are going to move on 
to the dining room. So next, uh, in the next couple weeks, you're gonna see that next video come out. And um, I was gonna tell you guys something else and I forgot. What was I gonna say? Completely skipped my mind. But um, I'm gonna think about it. I'll think about it. Okay, what I was gonna say is, I am going to link the other two videos or the other three videos, because we've already done the foyer, the office, the laundry room, and now it's the dining room. Next up is gonna be the living room. So I'm gonna link each of those videos down in the description. So if you wanna follow from the beginning of our journey, you can. And uh, I hope you guys had a great week and we will see you on the next video. You all take care and take care of each other and stay safe. Bye guys.